everyone. Welcome to Community Best Practices, your place to go for inspiration and ideas from the First Lego League community. I'm your host, Chrissy, and I have the privilege of serving as the program delivery partner for the Kansas City region. Today, we're answering the question, Hi, I'm Anne-Marie Ireland, and I am the co-coach of an FLL Explore team in Loveland, Ohio. Um, what I thought I'd talk about today is the approach we're taking to sharing materials and also to collaborating um, during COVID. So last year, we're a second year team. Last year, our team had six kids. And this year, because of uh, the restrictions being placed um, on uh, sanitizing and all the various parts of, of having to deal with COVID, um, our sponsor requested that we break the, t the team up into multiple teams. So the team I'm now coaching is made up of two kids. So we have a pod of two kids and um, those pods were created from groups, family groups that already hang out together. So we could kind of minimize additional um, possibilities for contamination and various other things. So um, we have our, our pod of two kids, our two families. Um, we've been working um, outside when the weather was nice. So we actually set up um, workspaces outside um, where the girls could get together and think about brainstorming through their uh, solutions. And also, um, start to divvy up uh, their tubs of Legos. So we actually have distributed the Legos between them, which is a lot easier when you just have two. Obviously, if you have a full kit and you only have two kids to share with, it's a lot easier. Um, we also are taking turns with the bot, so we'll sanitize the bot between um, turns. Um, and so the girls will work with the bot independently and then um, get back together. Um, if we're in person, we'll get back together and they'll, they'll transfer the bot after we've sanitized it. Um, and those, again, we're following all the the kind of uh, FLL um, recommendations on sanitizing the robot. Um, when we're not able to get together, we're doing Zoom meetings. So uh, both of the girls are very well versed in Zoom uh, because of school. So um, what we try to do is limit the time of those. So we'll, we'll make it maybe a 20 minute meeting. If we need to go a little over, we can, and then we'll let the girls kind of dictate that. But um, we'll do, um, a Zoom to collaborate about what they've done the week before. So they'll work independently uh, with their parents um, and uh, work through some of the things they're trying to do. So designing their part of the obstacle course or thinking about how the robot might be used to animate that portion of the obstacle course. Um, and then when they get together, they share that. Um, they show each other their models and uh, then talk about where, where they think we, they want to use the robot as part of the solution. So, so far that's been really helpful. Um, they've been doing really well. They've been enjoying kind of the um, independence of it, but also the, the times that we got together. So we, the girls' uh, team name is the Tie-Dye Tigers. Um, so they uh, designed a logo. We had the shirts printed. And then we got together um, in one of the nicer weather weekends and had them tie-dye their shirts. So that was really fun. And that was kind of, you know, trying to get as many core value moments together for them uh, as we can. And they had a really good time with that. So, um, so that's really what we're doing. Again, it's easier for us because we can limit our, our team size, which is a, a big deal for us. We're able to get a lot more accomplished, I think, and the girls have a lot better time because they don't have to worry so much about engineering the collaborative experience because we're not all on Zoom at once. So far, it's been really great and they're really enjoying themselves and they're liking the challenge this year. Anyway, I hope that's helpful for somebody um, and have a great year. Continue to check with us each week throughout the season for new questions and answers from our community. Engineer, archaeologist, see you believe it and we will build it. First Lego.